Five axis cycles can be difficult to apply in some circumstances. The aim of the five axis operation inside EdgeCam is to quickly and easily create a basic five axis toolpath. More advanced options are available if required to control tool orientation, lead in, lead out, etc. We'll look at the five axis swarf operation, probably the most common five axis operation. First, we're asked to select the drive curve. This is picked direct from the model. We're then asked for the wall geometry. Again, pick the surfaces or the faces of the model. And finally, the floor geometry for gouge checking the tool against the floor. So now we have the operation with a number of parameters to fill in. We're going to climb mill, number of cuts set to one, options for tool orientation. We need to pick a tool so we can filter this we're going to say we're going to use a 12 mil tool and then look in the tool store for bull nose 12 mil tools and we'll pick this one here we'll position this in the carousel number two set the clearance height and there are options for multiple cuts if required in this example we're doing one cut only see okay and we get the toolpath on there so very very quick and easy to get that toolpath if we run the simulation inside edge cam we'll see that the tool follows the surface around the part. Let's move into the true simulator to see material being removed and also the machine kinematics. We've skipped through the roofing so all we're going to see is the swarf cycle that we've just created. As you can see the c-axis spinning around as the tool moves around the part. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for your attention.